guys, today I will read a book and it called Treat and Treasure. Okay, I read the first poem and it's called Little Blessing. I keep my eyes wide open now as I begin my day. I smile a little wider when I meet with friends to play. I chew a little slower when I taste my favorite snack and I feel a little warmer. With this jacket on my back, I try to be more thankful than I was the day before. For all these little blessings are so easy to ignore. Okay, I wish you no story, and it's called The Little Loaf. Once there was a farm, farmer, a rich baker, sent for 20. A rich baker sent for 20 of the poorest children in the town and said to them, In this basket, there was a of bread for each of you. Take it and come back to me every day at this hour till God sends us better times. The hungry children gathered eagerly about the basket of quarter of the bread because each wished to have the largest loaf. At last they went away without even thinking the good gentlemen were gentle, a poorly dressed little girl did not cry or struggle with the rest, but remained standing mostly in the distance when the ill-behaved girls had left. She took the smallest loaf, which alone was left in the basket, kissed the, the gentleman's hand, and went home. The next day, the children were, were as ill as ill-behaved. As before, the poet and the gentle release the love's guilty had the sight of the one and and the mother cut over the rose. Ma lo, many new shiny pieces of silver fell out of it. Her mom was very much alarmed and said, Thank, take the money back to the good gentleman at once, for it has gotten into the door of accident by quickly gentle be we quickly, but when the little girl gave the rich man her mother mission, he said, No, no, my children, it was a, no mistake. I had a silver piece put into the smallest loaf to reward you. I was the as con contained peace, peace center and grateful as you are now are. Go home now and tell your mother that the money is your own. Okay, I wish you the next story, and it's called He Cares. I know that I can trust the God, Lord to keep the stars in place. Thou grant the Lord that rose the art, this, this wisdom and this grace. I know that I can trust the Lord to send the morning light, to turn each winter into spring, to rule each deep, each hill. I know that everywhere I took, I see His guiding hand, more be beauty. Musty love and faith that then I can understand. Then why I should refuse to trust those things I cannot see to him who knows tomorrow needs he cares for you and me. Okay, I wish you the next story and it's gone. Connect. Where is it? Oh, here's it. The perfect rock. There are certain ty type of penguin called the Kutu penguin that is famous for searching on the shore for its home for a perfect pe pebble to give to his sweetheart. In order to win her heart, does it seem funny that a penguin would be so impressed by a rock? Well, don't laugh too hard because people do the same thing. Before your parents were married, your father might have given your mother a rock too, a beautiful rock called a diamond. Why this rock, rock so in, interesting? Diamonds are not just rock, they are the strongest natural rocks in the world. They are so strong that the only things that can cut a diamond is another diamond. In fact, the word diamond in self, itself means unbreakable. In accident times, people some people thought diamonds were a piece of star that had fallen from the sky. 
People traded them and valuable them higher even hundreds of years before Jesus was born. In Esco, Jenny Edgar told the Hebrew people include a diamond and other precious jewelries in the present closely to wear one here. In, in, in time, the table Nasi, the high princess, had a special job, and God wanted his co- clothing to be special as well. Diamond or natural from the deep underground, when a material known as carbon is placed it under much heat and pressure. Often when a volcano erupts, it brings up diamond from under the earth's surface. When this diamond are found, they don't like they don't look like the diamonds on the ring or necklace. They simply look like rocks. Although they are still quite beautiful for jewelry, diamonds are cut into clear smooth crystal in many shapes and can be very close costly. Diamond can be found in a large number in India, Brazil, Russia, and many countries in Africa. There are very few diamonds mines in the United States. However, the United States buys more diamonds than any other country. There is no state park in Alaska where anyone can come the mine rocks for diamonds, although it is rare for a person to find one. More than just rock, a diamond is a precious and rare jewelry. It is a jewelry that had crossed the ocean and stood through the passing time. When a diamond is given to someone, it shows the person how special and how precious they are, just like a diamond. Okay, now I'll read you the next story, and it's, and it's called The Potion Sun. Jesus wanted to know how much God loved them. Even then, they sinned against him. So Jesus told the following story. A man a man had two sons. The sons knew that one day their father would leave everything he had to them. But the younger son demanded his immunity right away. We read the father gave him his money. An ungrateful son left home. After traveling to a distant country, the poke poker son quickly made friends and began carelessly spending money on sinful things. <coughs> Cautiously, before he discovered that all his money was gone, soon his friends were gone too. He could no longer pay for their funds, so they left him for the poker and son's work for Work, but nobody wanted to hire him. Finally, a farmer said, You can feed my pigs. By this time, the poker was so hungry, he was willing to anything, and he even ate the pig, pig food. While feeding the pig, the young man re- remembered something. Even his father's servants always had plenty to eat. At his visit, the young man decided to return home and beg his father for drop. But before he even reached her home, his father saw him, ran to him, and hugged him. The poor son said, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight. I am not worthy to call your son. If you could let me be one of the higher servants, the father stopped and killed the fitted calf. And being a rope, shoes, and ring, he ordered his servants, We are going to separate because my son lost, lost. My lost son had been father. Everything was happy except one person, the older brother. He commanded to his father, I stayed at home and worked for you all this year, and you never give me a party. But as soon as my younger, my younger brother returns, you kill the virgin cow, calf for him. The father said, "Son, we should celebrate. Your brother returned, for he was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is now found." Okay, I'll read you the next story, and it's got the don- donuts. One Friday night in November, on my overhead, his mother talking on the telephone at in the August of a Sunday, but I was I stopped by with a call in about half an hour, we, and we can go meeting together, she said, because tonight was the night the ladies' clubs were meeting in distant plans for a box show 
so so am knit for the Red Cross. I think I'll come along and keep Uncle Mrs. Company while you and us are at the meeting, says Alma. So after Alma has come has combed his hair and his mother had looked at to see if she had her knitting in the insertions and the right side needles, they started for town. Home and Uncle Yusuf and Aunt Gwanda had very very up and coming lunch room over in the center but just across the town house on the town square. Okay, this is end of the lesson. Bye bye.